The first policymaker vote on the nationwide arena deal, the Blue Jacket bailout, if you will, comes on Monday. The Columbus City Council will decide whether to move forward with the city-county purchase of the arena. The county commission also must okay the deal. Here are the numbers. The county pays nationwide, the city and county pays nationwide, $43 million for the arena. The Jackets would get free rent and naming rights revenue. It's basically $28 million from Nationwide. Nationwide takes at least a $40 million loss on the arena, but it will earn $104 million in interest from the city and county. That's because Nationwide is loaning the city and county the money it needs to buy the arena. Taxpayers don't expect any money really from the arena, but the arena district keeps its anchor tenant, and that fuels all kinds of economic activity, including $30 million in income tax revenue. Lots of numbers, complicated issue. Michael Daniels, who gets the best deal on this, do you think? The Jackets. <clears throat> but all in all, it was a matter of, I think, saving, keeping the Blue Jackets in Nationwide okay. Arena, I don't think anyone can argue, was critical to maintaining the, the economic livelihood of that district. And with all of the other shops that are down there, the residential that's that's down there, et cetera, keeping the jackets was, was absolutely crucial. Now it is, people will look at this and go, it's a little convoluted because Nationwide is taking money out of its left pocket and loaning it to the city who's putting it back in Nationwide's right pocket as a purchase and there's gonna be interest. The thing that we at Outlook find the funniest about all of this is that the city and county are going to end up paying back for this out of casino revenues for a casino that Nationwide and the dispatch opposed being A, put in, and yeah. B, certainly being put into that district. So we, we find that to be a little, a little bit ironic. Well, I'm a Blue Jackets fan, so let me start by saying that. But I, I know a lot of voters were against any government involvement in paying for an arena when it was up on the, on the ballot, what, 10 or 15 years ago now. Uh, but I think it's different from a speculative venture that no one has any idea whether it's going to be worthwhile. And we already know what this has done for downtown Columbus. People don't leave as much. Those restaurants draw folks. Office buildings have relocated to that area. They could have just as easily located outside of the 270 Beltway. Instead, they're in the heart of the city. It's in the interest of Franklin County and the city of Columbus to keep the Blue Jackets here. But here's what we found. Nationwide knew from the get-go that this arena was going to lose money. And they're willing to, to take it as a loss leader because they knew their parking garages down there would make more money. The property around the arena would increase in value. They've benefited from that. So if they've benefited from their loss leader, shouldn't the private company be the ones to help the Blue Jackets, another private company? You can always find a better deal and you can always pick apart a deal, but you don't want the perfect to be the enemy of the good. Right. In this case, the risk of this team leaving. And in the NHL, teams leave cities. We had one this year leave and just moved up to Canada. Mm -hmm. Teams leave cities. It happens. Mm -hmm. It would be a tremendous blow to the city if they were to leave. And so I think this is a good deal. I'm hopeful that it'll go through. It, it, would, it just would leave this, this gaping wound in the city between downtown and and the short north. I mean, that arena district really bridges the ability for people to move through there. And I, I just can't imagine just sort of like, it'd just like be like blowing up a bridge. Well, it would does, do you really think, Laura, that the, the Arena District would implode if the Blue Jackets left? The Arena's still there, the office buildings are still there, the restaurants are still there, the Clippers are still there. Right, and I think uh, some of that activity is is now kind of um, grown up and taken root enough that it wouldn't just die off because there's there aren't any games. How many games a, a year do they play? Forty some, yeah. forty some home games. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's like a once, maybe a little less than once a week that there's that event there. You know, there's other events that happen. Um, and I think that already people, they own condos there, there's restaurants. That's, I think that's more attractive to sort of building a community than being able to go to a Blue Jackets but game. There's, there's a certain, I think, psychological blow that happens when a team like that vacates and creates that yeah. kind of a vacuum. Sure. It's sort of like it's a, oh, well, they left. Well, this is not as much fun. And then I think you start to get this trickle effect where other things start to leave but and Jim, shut down. But Jim, the Jackets still face some big financial problems. So there's no guarantee they're going to be financially viable in 10 years. Well, sure, they better start winning some games, yes. putting some butts in the seats, because yeah. they, you know that's going to solve most of this problem down the road. Because down the road, no one's taxes are going up because of this deal. They're, they're using the casino revenues. So, so that no one's going to be sitting there in five years going, boy, I can't believe I still have to pay taxes. And so if they, 
So if they start winning a few games, start maybe making the playoffs, maybe actually winning a playoff game, yeah. maybe then people start, th you know, we kind of forget about this. Yeah. You know, people start forgetting about this whole deal and start just being, you know, appreciating that the, the team is there. And, and but it's also you know, nobody's, ta nobody's taxes are going up, but the, the it, revenue is being used, it's being moved over to the arena project instead of being used for something else. Sure. 